All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you the updated way to handle things like privacy settings on servers, along with how to change your notification settings. So for the most part, when I join a new server, I kind of like to just right click them and then I tend to mute them because when I have time to read ser a server or if I'm interested in reading what's going on in a server, I I'll go read it. It's pretty straightforward with me. Um, so when you right click these, you have the option to do things like mute a server. And what does muting servers do? It allows you to get rid of this little notification blip on the side, which would otherwise indicate that there's an unread message from that server. So we're going to go ahead and mute that. And you have the option to mute it for 15 minutes, for an hour, for three hours, for eight hours, for 24 hours, or until you turn it back on. I prefer to do it till I turn it back on. And then I can also go down to privacy settings. So what are privacy settings? These are controlling who can do things like see your activity status, see um, if you've got it set up to allow people to join a game through your activity. Like if you do like an, an actual server activity where you play like a game, it'll allow people to join in your game or not, that sort of thing. Be able to send message requests to you or direct messages and all of that. So I generally, don't let random people send me direct messages anymore. Um, I don't necessarily need them to see my activity status or activity joining, but I don't necessarily care if they send me message requests. Although if you disable it this way, they won't be able to send you message requests directly through this server. If that server is the only server that they share with you. So I'm just going to disable all of that and click on done. And then the last thing I want to do, is I want to see the notification settings. So with the notification settings, normally if you went to like this server, this AI server, and I went to the notification settings in here, it would give me a better menu for this. But so the menu for this, when you go to the actual server, is you can mute all notifications from this server, which is probably what I'll do. But you can also say, um, I only want to suppress everyone messages because a lot of servers use the at everyone for absolutely everything. I don't mind if they mention me directly in a server, like if they at Larry Chupacabra, that's fine. Um, but I also uh, don't necessarily care about their events, but they can directly at me if someone on there wants to talk to me for whatever reason. I don't mind that. So I'll go ahead and hit done. I can also access that information if I right click this and I can see the notification settings here in a little pop up, which is at a glance gives me things like I can have it mute. I can have it send me information about all messages, only at messages or nothing. I can have things like suppress everyone and at here, suppress the at mention role, suppress highlights. I'm not entirely certain what suppress highlights means. I think that's when someone responds to you. You can have it not send you a notification if somebody just like right clicks your name and replies to a specific post you made. So you can also access some of that same information right here, but there's more information if you go to the server, go to the upper left hand corner, and then go to the notifications settings right here. This is a little bit easier to work with, especially because it grays out all the crazy nonsense going on in the background. So that's the updated version of how to handle that, how to mute a server, how to mute notifications on a server. I hope you find this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.